Hey, this is Charlene Sandow with the Southern Gals Kitchen. We're cooking shrimp and spaghetti tonight. You know, shrimp is a real sort of a, I think of New Orleans with all their shrimp dishes that are so wonderful. And this is kind of like jambalaya cooking is what I would call it. That falls in that category and I love that kind of cooking. But this dish is just really, really easy, it, but not too bad. But we've got a about a half of an onion a medium sized onion. It's really a half a cup chopped of chopped onion. And then I've got a third a cup of chopped celery. Now I keep my celery chopped up already in the freezer because when I buy a thing of celery it'll go bad on me before I use it all. So I just chop it up. I've got it in my freezer. It's ready to go. I also do onions that way sometimes. This is five cloves of garlic. If you love garlic you're going to love this. It's minced. Minced garlic. And I have two pretty good sized banana peppers minced up. Got these out of my, I grow um, herbs and banana peppers and things like that in big pots on the patio. And I pick these, I pick five to ten of these peppers a day. I generally cut them up in strips and put them in the freezer. I'll go ahead and use these fresh. They're minced, so that's about two of those. And we're going to cook these first. And we got about two pounds of raw shrimp over here, already thawed out. We've got a half stick of butter in here, and then we'll add some other things after a while. We've got a little bit of wine and water, a little bit of salt and pepper, bay leaf, and some um, thyme, which I also got out of my garden, by the way. All right, so this grease, this, this skillet is a half cup of butter. We're gonna start stir frying our onions and peppers. The first thing we'll do, or I mean our onions and our, yes, our peppers. I'm going to put those in before the garlic. Garlic tends to burn, so you want to kind of add it last. Not put it in so early. And we're going to go ahead and put the celery in here, too. Get it cooking. So those are... Smells good in here. There's nothing better than onions and peppers and garlic cooking. I mean, it's like, ah, oh, It's really, really hard to beat. And you just want to stir-fry these and get them tender, you know, kind of translucent. That's all you're looking for here. You take a minute or two because that cold kind of this little burner here, little cooker that I use to cook on for the filming, doesn't get quite as hot as my stove, so it takes just a little bit longer to uh, get things going. But it's bubbling there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's bubbling in there, and it'll cook here in a minute. And then this onion pepper, and I said then we'll add our garlic in there. Then we're going to add our shrimp. Add the shrimp. Cook about five minutes. Because you know raw shrimp, you don't overcook it. You want five minutes that it just barely start turning pink. Then we're going to transfer all that to a bowl. And then we're going to make a sauce. And we'll let it cook about 20 minutes. So we'll kind of take it in steps here. But once we transfer this, we're going to add our wine and our water and let that cook down just a little bit. Um, we'll add our salt and pepper. Okay, this is cooking down good. It's almost there. I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic in. Garlic smells so good just sitting here smelling it. Smells good before it even starts cooking. Alright. Wish this little cooker got just a tiny bit hotter. It would really help. But it will do the job. Okay, we'll let that cook down just again to be kind of trans translucent. You don't want that garlic to cook too long, like I said, because it will burn. It probably won't burn too much because this heat's not too hot. If your heat's too hot, you'll burn it in a heartbeat, and then you got burnt garlic, and that's not so good. So you really want this to be, um, you know, kind of a high enough heat to cook, but not so high that you're going to burn that garlic in there. Okay, we'll let that cook just a minute, and then we're going to stir in, like I said, our shrimp, cook it five minutes, and then we're going to take all that out to a dish. I've got my shrimp ready here. It's already thawed. This is that red raw, what they call Argentine shrimp. They're kind of big shrimps. They're already cleaned in your vein. I kind of like them because they're really nice and big. You can use any kind of shrimp you want to. I like Gulf Shore shrimp. Um, these I had in the freezer. That's why I'm using those. If you, you do want a raw shrimp to do this though because the cooked shrimp, you'll just overcook it. It's already cooked and it just, it won't work as well. So. That's really smelling good now. 
<laughs> it's amazing. It's just an amazing smell. I mean, I love the smell of like apple pie and things baking, but I like the smell of garlic and onions and celery and things cooking too. That's getting kind of a translucent look to it. So we're going to give it about 30 more seconds maybe. Just to make sure it's getting tender. We should do one at tender. Then we're going to add our shrimp. And like I said, we're going to let that cook about, oh, five minutes. And I might have to just come back to you at that point. And let that stir around in there just a little bit. We'll cook it about five minutes. It already looks good. It's <laughs> not even good. We'll cook it five minutes. I'll come back. And we'll uh, go to the next step. We'll just let that cook just a little bit. Smells so good. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And this is, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You can see how it's, maybe you can't see, but maybe I can get it up where you can. You can see how it's cooked down. And it's just all, just a little bit pink. The shrimp has to be done because you're through cooking it. The rest of it's just going to be making a, an amazing sauce. So, and the onions and the peppers have cooked down more. Now, I'll tell you what I like to do at this point because I love Cajun Creole. This is a Cajun Creole dish. I love to do... Um, some hot, I like some Creole spice. I'm just going to sprinkle it. You know, I'm saying a, as much as you want, really. I like a lot of it. This is a little bit hot, though. You might be careful if you use that kind. But um, I just like that Creole seasoning, that Creole taste uh, from the Creole seasoning on there. Always good on shrimp. It's amazing on rice. I'll do some more Creole cooking for you. But you can cook up your rice. And put some of that Creole seasoning on there. It's just amazing stuff. Okay, we're going to put this in a bowl and keep it warm while we finish up the rest. Now there'll be some crumbs in the bottom there where the peppers and onions cooked. And that's all good because we're going to deglaze it with some wine. This is a fourth of a cup of dry white wine. And a fourth a cup of water. And we're just going to let those cook down. I'm going to scrape the bottom of that bowl. And it's going to cook about five minutes. We're going to let it boil about five minutes. Kind of cook it down and get those goodies off the bottom. That's the best part. You want all that flavor you can get in there. This is a very flavorful dish, and Cajun food is very flavorful. I've been to New Orleans a lot, and I love to. Yeah, well, everybody does. It goes there. You love to go there to eat. <laughs> you get so many great dishes. The culture's great, but oh, the New Orleans cooking is just amazing. So you let this cook down again, like I said, about five minutes. So I'll come back. Okay, we are back. And this is cooked down and reduced, which really enriches that flavor. I'm going to take this bay leaf out and get it out without burning myself. <laughs> Set it aside. You know you don't have bay leaves. And we're going to add this other, about another half a stick of butter. Or you can, I'm going to start with about half of that. About two tablespoons. That might be a little much. And then we're going to put that in there. And we're going to return. This is not hot, by the way. I'm just going to set it right there. We're going to return all this yummy shrimp goodness that we made earlier. Put it all in there. And it just looks so good. This is Friday night dinner, y'all. I love to have a really good weekend meal. And the weekends I cook oh, a little more sometimes than I do through the week. Sometimes during the week it gets kind of hectic to cook, doesn't it? But I try. And on the weekends, I like to have some, some better meals on the weekends. And so... I would do that. This just sort of mix it all up in there. And we're going to put just a little bit of parsley. You know, I grew a lot of parsley in my yard this year with a lot of other herbs. And I went out to pick it today for this dish. And it didn't look just right. It's beautiful green, but it's got these little white specks on it. So I just used my dried parsley. I think two tablespoons of that butter is enough. Looks good. Smells good. So I'm going to put some parsley just on the top. Just... You know, a couple of sprinkles, however much you want. Then we're going to serve this on our cooked spaghetti. It's delicious. You gotta try this. You've got to try this. If you love 
Cajun cooking like we do. And I love the spaghetti with the shrimp. I've always liked that. You will love this dish. You will love this dish. I'll eat some more in a minute. I will save it for my dinner. But I hope you try this. Let me know how you like it. We'll be doing some more Cajun cooking. I think you're going to love it. I know we do. And it's um, the South. People really do like Cajun cooking. The Cajuns settled, like I said, in New Orleans. And so people all over the country, I believe, like it. But there's a lot of it eaten in the South. A lot of shrimp bowls. I love shrimp bowls, too. But a lot of really, really good recipes that you're going to love. See you on the next show. Bye-bye. Okay, we are back and it's just still smelling really good what I did is I finished cooking you can see it in here I don't want to spill it <laughs> my shrimp is just turned pink because I saw the cooking it's gonna need and my onions and garlic and all the things in there and it just smells amazing it's gonna taste amazing and I did add some Creole seasoning I like I just sprinkled it on the top you can put as much as or as little as you like if it's kind of hot and spicy, and some of them are, and this one is, then you want to be careful and don't get it too hot. Just go by taste. But just sprinkle a little Creole seasoning on there. Start with a little bit. Then I'm going to cover this and keep it warm. And I've already cooked uh, my spaghetti. You want to serve this on spaghetti. So it's about, you know, enough. I've got enough spaghetti here for four people. And this will serve, this will serve four people. I added in here a fourth a cup of white wine and use wine that you would drink. It doesn't have to be expensive, but just wine you would drink. And then a, a Okay, y'all, I'm back, and this is, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You can see how it's, maybe you can't see, but maybe I can get it up where you can. You can see how it's cooked down, and it's just all, just a little bit pink. The shrimp has to be done, because you're through cooking it. The rest of it's just going to be making a, an amazing sauce. So, and the onions and the peppers have cooked down more. Now, I'll tell you what I like to do 